What's up guys, War here. Today we are back in Season 27 and we got to show off the Impale Strafe build. Now, I know we did this back during the PTR, but I wanted to give you guys my full build, all the bells and whistles and everything, show you a little bit of the gameplay. We just uploaded a uh, GR100 clear in a minute and 46 seconds, so be sure to check that out. I'll link that above and then I'll link this uh, build video to that if you end up watching that first but i wanted to showcase this build and show you everything in it and as always we're going to do a quick gr just to showcase this we're going to do another 100 just to kind of pop off in speeds and kind of show you how it's done but let's get it man this build is fantastic for speed uh you know power leveling it's really great for speed rifts it's really great for uh, doing T16s if you really want to, although the Unhallowed set, which I'll also link above, guys, we have that build video out. Um, that one was a little wonky. I wish I would have did a little bit better job on that, but going forward, we'll do a lot better job on those build videos for you guys. But this build, super, super powerful, very, very easy to play. All you're going to do is pop, uh, what is it, Shadow shadow Power. That's going to be on always. You have Displacement to kind of get get you out of things. And then all you're going to do is hit Impale one time, and then you're just going to hold down Strafe. And then every five seconds, you're going to pop your Bolas, which is going to be fantastic to help keep you alive with the uh, Wraps of Clarity. And also kind of keep your, um, oh my gosh, your, dis what is it, Hatred up? Because that's always an issue with this uh, speed build. Really hate that we didn't get a, uh, kind of zoom through that. The key with this build, though, is you need to have monsters, so you can't be, like, one-shotting stuff in the case of, like, just one-shotting everything, killing everything, because then you're going to run out of hatred too fast, because the build works with when you're hitting your enemy multiple times with Impale, that's where you get your hatred back, right? So if you're just one-shotting everything, it's going to be really hard to keep your hatred up, uh... So make sure like the GR is kind of like mine, like where we can do 105s, we can do 100s. We're working our way up to 110, guys. I'm gonna have some 110 build videos and, uh, or excuse me, gameplays for you guys. But you can see how I keep my hatred basically near the max all the time. If I was just 100% one-shotting and not like two-shotting stuff, it would be very hard to keep my resources up. Because this build is a very resource-intensive build. Um, but it's really, really fun to play. As you guys can see, it's super easy. Damn man, we've been crushing this and we haven't even got a pylon. Not even one pylon. We're not even going to grab that just because we don't need it. Uh, I guess we do. Screw it. We'll take it. Oh, never mind. Rift Guardian's here. Let's go. And you guys will see, we just, we, you, just, you just absolutely destroy Rift Guardians with this build. It might be one of the best Rift Guardian killers in the game. All right, guys, we're back. Here we go. Let's see. Two minutes and 22 seconds, level 100 crush it i think the only thing that we got was a speed pylon if that all right guys let's get right into the gear and everything that you're going to need you're going to need the entire shadow mantle set we're only running five pieces but you're going to need the shadow mantle set because everything runs through impale so the five piece with the ring of royal grandeur you're going to get impale damage deals a crap ton to everybody uh that's where you get shadow uh power gets every rune which is fantastic so to complement this we're going with the guardian set okay the guardian's jeopardy they swap those from the ptr the three three set bonus used to be the two set bonus but they flipped them um, which makes this set a little bit harder to put on certain builds, but it works very, very well on here to give us 100% of our stats, which is fantastic. And then to complement it, we're going to go with Mantle of Channeling. This just helps us while we're channeling Strafe to give us um, increased damage and damage reduction, which is fantastic. And then into our Rings and Amulets, we're going with Squirts Necklace for double damage. And of course, Focus and Restraint, which is procced by our Bolas, which is great for just even more damage okay into our weapons you have to have carly's point and you have to have holy point shot for this build to work otherwise it's going to be very difficult to play okay so on the weapon we have the new strafe ability cast the non last non channeled hatred spending ability which is going to be impale so we have that and then it increases our impale damage and it returns 15 hatred if it hits an enemy already impaled that's why you don't want to be one-shotting everything. We need our hatred back to continuously spam this. So we want 
uh, to be able to not one shot, but like one and a half, two shot uh, enemies, which is really good. The smaller monsters, the minions, you should be able to one shot those, but the bigger ones like the Rift Guardian and Elites and stuff, it should take just a couple shots. Okay, so if you're running low on Hatred or anything like that, just increase your GR. Uh, and then with Holy Point shot, and it throws two additional knives and deals increased damage. So that's why we have three. Okay, into our cube, we have Dawn to have permanent uptime on Vengeance. You need to have a uh, 20 or a 37% cooldown with max uh, Dawn to have 100% uptime on Vengeance. Wraps of Clarity for damage reduction, and then Ring of Royal Grandeur to complement the sets. Into our skills, Bola's Freezing Strike. This just helps us with cold damage and to potentially freeze enemies to kill them, which will be nice. Um, and they have... Uh, a big chance to just be frozen which is great next strafe drifting shadow we want this for increased speed a lot of uh, the other build for the push build for this runs um rocket storm for just more fire damage but we want to be moving really fast this is a speed build then we have smoke screen discipline or a special recipe uh you vanish behind and reduces the cost of discipline down to eight shadow power we get all the runes of course impale chemical burn okay the build only works two ways you either do fire or you do cold the over penetration rune, which is the cold rune, allows you to just basically pen through enemies so the knives just keep going, but you're going to deal a little bit less damage. In my testing, I've really found that either way they kind of work, but I like chemical burn because we just want to deal maximum damage and just slaughter everything. And then, of course, Vengeance Dark Heart for just damage reduction and increased damage, which is fantastic. Into our passives, we need Blood Vengeance for increased hatred, and then you gain some when you're healed by a health globe. Tactical advantage so we can move around faster every time we spam uh, smoke screen. Ambush for just additional damage. And then a call of the week for additional damage against slowed or chilled enemies, which is fantastic, which helps with bullets. Okay, so that's the gear and the uh, skills and abilities in the cube. Now let's get into the specifics, guys. I went over this last time, but I make sure that we have everything that we want on our gear. So the stat priorities goes as follows, guys. On the helmet, you want dex, crit damage, and uh, increase in pale damage. Uh, the shoulders, you want dex, vit, area damage, cooldown. Gloves, you want dex, both crit chance and damage with cooldown. Uh, the chest piece, you want dex, vit, all resist. For the belt, you want dex, vitality, all resist, and life. For the pants, you're going to want dex, vit, all resist, for the boots, you're going to want Dexterity, Vitality, All Resist, and Impale Damage. I know my Impale Damage sucks on here, but we got to roll on it, so I'm keeping it. Um, the Bracers, you want Fire Skill Damage, Dex, Vit, Crit Chance. Now, you could change this to Cold. If you're all in on Cold, go one way or the other. If you guys look over here, my Cold Damage and Fire Damage is pretty close. So, I'm kind of just rocking Fire Damage right now. Okay, on the Carly's Point, this is your Sanctified Item. You want Cold Damage, Damage, Dex, Vit. And then on Holy Point Shot, Cold Damage or Fire Damage, Dex, Attack Speed, Crit Chance, and then in Increased uh, Impale Damage. On our Squirts Necklace, you want this to be uh, Cold or Fire Damage instead of the Dexterity, but I have a Dexterity, uh, so it, it's fine either way. And then Crit Chance and Damage, which is fantastic. Now, my rings are a little messed up, but we got them as best we can. So the rings are going to be the same on both. You're going to want Damage and then Crit Chance and Crit Damage, okay? You want those on both of these. We kind of went with the best that we have, but that's what you're going to want on both the rings. So that is the stat priorities for the build, guys. It's absolutely crazy. All right, so for our legendary gems, guys, we're going with Zaya Stone of Vengeance for increased damage, Taegook for increased damage, and then an armor uh, stack to just stay alive because the build isn't the most resilient. It is a little squishy. And then Bane of the Trap uh, for just increased movement, or excuse me, increased uh, damage and then movement reduction, which also helps proc our call of the week so that is the build guys i really hope you guys enjoyed today's build video we we're making sure that we're getting the stat priorities and everything that you need for the builds uh coming for the rest of season 27 we have a lot of characters to play and a lot more build videos and content coming your way so make sure to check everything out if you did enjoy today's video make sure to drop a like as i really do appreciate that and if you're new here be sure to subscribe guys all the love again i cannot preface this enough all the support has been crazy. We're on a nonstop, just freaking freight train to just do Diablo, and it's fantastic. So all the support, I'm really thankful. Thank you guys so much. So, and as always, stay gaming. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.